Welcome to Building Wisconsin. I'm Stuart Keith and on today's show, well, we're learning more about new home construction and the role subcontractors play. So let's get started with master plumber, Paul Price from Best Price Plumbing. I just want to show you a few things what we do for our customers over here. This is a typical floor plan of a basement and we go over with the customer all the different aspects of the job right from where the sewer or the septic system goes out the wall. We see that there's a future room in here so we make sure that there's a flush clean out. That means the clean out's below the carpet or right on the level of the carpet so we don't have anyone tripping sure. over that. And exact locations of the sinks, if it's going to be a bar sink, a kitchen sink, and where the bathroom lines up with everything upstairs, make sure it all works out real well and make sure that the area is clear because this one here says future basement. So we want to make sure that the homeowner has all the plumbing hanging in the basement in a certain area so that's not in the way with anyone. Sure, and right over to the mechanical room and you know when I look at this, this is just the lower level and a lot of people might not realize how important plumbing is and on today's show here on Building Wisconsin, we want to focus in on new home construction and the role of the subcontractor, but especially the plumber. Because as you just pointed out, the plumber is virtually the first person on the job. Right, and um, especially with all the pipes that go underground even. I always tell my apprentices that come to work for us, for you're doing an important job here by digging trenches and laying pipe underground. You just don't have a second chance at it. When you do it, you do it right the first time. So we train our guys to make sure that they know exactly what they're doing underground so it's perfect underground because you never want to change that for the next 70 years. Well, I tell you, Paul, when I'm considering building a new home or any major plumbing remodeling project, that's the type of attitude I want from my plumber. I mean, you want to do it right the first time. Absolutely. The quality, craftsmanship, experience. I mean, do it right, you're going to get your best value. And that, to me, speaks volumes to peace of mind that comes with making the right selection. And we're out here at your Best Price Plumbing Showroom. It's just beautiful. I can't wait. We're going to have an opportunity to take a little tour and learn more about the products. Because as we look here, you just touched on just a few aspects right. of the plumbing. In my opinion, the plumber is one of the most important subcontractors because they're there from the beginning and they're the last ones to leave. Right. And a lot of our plumbing is hidden under the concrete, in the walls, and you don't want to do it twice. So that's why we train our people to have it done right the first time. And that's a great case in point in how there's really a science behind a plumbing system. It's not just coming out here and picking out fixtures. I mean, sure, we all like that as consumers. We wanna look at all these beautiful Kohler kitchen faucets. We wanna get out there to the bathroom faucets and fixtures, but it, that's really the beautiful end result Absolutely. of a professionally yep. designed and installed plumbing system. So can we step out there and yeah, start the Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. idea. Come on over this way, I'll show you these bathtubs we have here, like for the master bathroom. It depends what the customer would like. They want to have something that is maybe a different style, a different color. And Ingrid that does the showroom selections for us here, she's been doing selections in plumbing for over 20 years. And she knows how to fit it in with the customer, what their style, what their design is. So everything blends together in their home as well as in their bathroom. And as far as the customers that come in here, they're either from our builders, from our remodeling builders, or maybe someone that just wants to come in to see plumbing products. But please, if they call ahead and make an appointment, then they got a special one-on-one -on -one care for as long as they'd like to be in here without any interruption. Well, that makes total sense to me. And a couple things I noticed is that you took the time to do the vignettes right. You put tile on top of here. I'm willing to bet people can actually crawl in there and sit back and try them out if they Absolutely. want to. Absolutely. I mean, you can't do that on the internet because you want to make sure it fits you right. It might sound silly at the time climbing in a showroom whirlpool, but really it's what you want to do. It's your place to be. And over here, the toilets, you know, we just remodeled the bathroom and I was blown away when it comes to color that there's like 
eight or ten different types of white. There's a lot of different whites, believe me, <laughs> and a lot of different colors. And as you see on the wall here, there's a lot of different sizes. So the size would fit inside your bathroom. How big is your bathroom? How it's going to look in there? What style you have in the bathroom? It's very important. And what's really impressive right now is that a lot of the toilets have what's called a comfort height. They're a little higher, but different size tanks, different mechanisms in each of the tanks. So we know how to repair fix and install all of these. And we stand behind our product for five years on any workmanship. And you know, you just brought up an excellent point because somebody might visit a showroom like this, get some ideas, go home, want to do some more research on their own. So what do you do? You hop on the internet and you might say, hey, that same fixture I just saw is a little bit less expensive here. Maybe I should buy it online. Well, I got to believe that'd be a huge mistake because who's going to stand behind that? I got to believe if I buy it through you, working with my builder, you're going to stand behind it like you just said. Yeah, absolutely. Do you guys also help with style and the hardware that goes along with everything? Well, that's why we line everything up here and show customers exactly what they can get and how they can get it. And also the different trims. You'd be surprised that a lot of different manufacturers They'll make a faucet and they also make the great matching trim. These trims are very hard to match. So you want to stick with the same manufacturer for the same trim. And we sell all that stuff here. So it really works out well. And we want to keep you in a budget you want to be. And does that come back to the communication that you have with the builder, with the customer, with yourself? Everybody knows what the budget is. Absolutely. And I got to believe Ingrid's experience right. really helps keep me within the products lines that'll fit Absolutely, my Absolutely, because when you go through the bathtubs, the toilets, and come to the fixtures, she always has exactly what your budget is. She doesn't want to steer you in the wrong direction where you're going to pick out something that's a little less over here and twice as much over here. So she kind of levels it up because there's a lot of things going on behind the kitchen and the tubs and the faucets, etc. And that might sound like, well, of course she should help me with that, but don't diminish how important that is because I've gone through that process and building a new home can be overwhelming. And this is just one facet. And that experience of a professional person like Ingrid walking through is invaluable valuable right. to get ultimately the best value for me. That's exactly what we want to do. Paul, you know what? I just love visiting a professional showroom like this because it gives you a chance to use all your senses, touch, feel. You get to look at all the different subtle finish differences here that you were alluding to over at the Kohler wall and here at the Moen wall. It's the same thing. Just the subtle differences here can make all the difference that you're not going to pick up in a magazine or on a video. No, some of these come out of the wall, some of them come out of the top of the wash basin, etc. Different shower heads, how do they spray? And maybe 15 years down the road, I'd rather have a shower maybe that comes out of the wall instead of the top. And we can look up your faucet number through our database. And even 15 years down the road, we can get the same color and everything else that would fit right on Match there. it up, sure. And you know, you touched on that and you just kind of breezed over that you keep a database. I had a chance to talk to your office manager, Deb, on the way in here. And I said, what happens if 11 years down the road it starts to leak? Is that up to me? Is the onus on the homeowner to know what the part number is, what the model number, the manufacturer? And she goes, absolutely not. That's the beauty of utilizing a professional showroom I, as the homeowner, can simply make a phone call to you guys. You look it up 10, 12, 15, Absolutely. 20 years down the road, and you yeah. say, oh, that was a Kohler, and yeah, we can get that part and get it fixed for you right away. I mean, that is the ultimate in peace of mind. Positively, because oh. I know that looking for your paperwork 10 years down the road doesn't always work too good. Yeah, exactly. Well, I love the communication that goes on here. If anyone's doing major remodeling, building a new home, I'd highly encourage them to talk to their builder, check what their subcontracting plumber who it is, and do they have a showroom like this, and then give you guys a call. Set up an appointment, Absolutely. utilize cool. the services, you're going to get your best value and be really happy that you did when you're talking about life's largest investment. I wish we had more time to spend here, but right now I'm anxious to see some rough plumbing. Can we head out to that house? Let's do it.
this is a beautiful home, great location, and what I'm excited about is we get to see some of the aspects of plumbing that we normally don't because it's not finished off. And we're down here in the basement and looking around here, there's quite a bit of plumbing going on. It all starts on the plan, in the showroom, going over everything, making sure you know what you want, where you want it on the plan where you can see it the best. And as you can see by the plan, we also focus on where everything goes. Actually, in this one over here, there's a lift station for a septic system, so everything underground is into this pit, gets pumped up into the pipes up on top, goes out through the wall into the septic system. Which is a little confusing at times to some people, but you have to plan this out so that pipe hanging there is in the middle of your bathroom or hanging too low in the ceiling. Okay, so we're in a lower level, obviously, and that's a great case in point in how you want to plan everything out, as you said, because if you want to finish this off, the last thing you want to do is come down and go, oh, this would have been a great finished space, but we got pipes hanging down. If you would have thought of it back at the design phase, we would have moved that over. Right. So it's your job to work with the builder, with the homeowner, and try to look into the future, like, hey, is there any chance you're going right. to use this space down the road? You might want to plan some extra plumbing in certain areas. Yeah, and our experience tells us where to do all these things. That's what's really important. And when you get all done, all this is covered up by concrete, and we're assured that it's done right. And again, that's what impresses me about your company. You said that even with your apprentices out here digging the initial ditches, make sure it's done right. Absolutely. It's so important because you don't want to come back and address a problem underneath. So if you do it right the first time, I know it's a cliche, but if you do it right the first time, the homeowner's not going to have to worry down the road. Absolutely. You know, Paul, seeing your plumbers downstairs in action and seeing the end result and all that PVC piping properly installed, a homeowner might take that for granted because you look up there and it doesn't look that difficult on the surface, but it really is challenging sometimes to work with PVC. It definitely is challenging. You really should know what you're doing and want to know what you're doing because there's just different angles up there. There's different measurements to take and they're pitched so everything runs the right direction and it takes a lot of learning and training. We just, just don't grab someone off the street and say, hey, you want to be a plumber. People don't understand that it's a five-year apprenticeship program. They've got two years of day school, one day a week. They got three years of night school after that. It's a long process to go learn and get your license here. Not unlike a doctor or a lawyer, you go through many years of schooling and you depend on experienced professionals, in this case, journey workers, passing on their knowledge and then yeah. the end results speak for themselves. And you know, when I look at an end result or I look at a house of this quality at this stage, I can't help but giving kudos to a builder because you're working with all the different trades yet you're making it appear seamless and you have to work together with the other contractors on the job site. That's extremely important. Otherwise, no one gets along. So we want to make a harmony on the job site. Well, again, these homeowners in this house are just going to be happy that they took the time to research not only their builder, but all of his subs. Thank you for coming on today's show. Well, thanks a lot. Plumbers in the state of Wisconsin are all licensed, they all serve a five-year apprenticeship and they all take the same state proctored exam to get a license. So the plumber that is working on your home has the same training and qualifications as a plumber that works in a hospital or a restaurant or any other structure. Not only do they have to know the plumbing code, they also need to know the building code, one and two family dwelling code. When you're putting in plumbing in a structure like this with multiple different components of the wood framing, you gotta know how to drill, where to drill, you gotta understand where the electrician's gonna be, how to put the pipes within that structure. If you're gonna build a home and you're gonna spend a lot of money, want your biggest investment in your life, it's very important. Not only are you picking out good quality products, but you should know that you're getting good quality labor to install the high quality products that you purchased and that you wanna live with for 15 to 30 years. Building Wisconsin is made possible by the members of Plumbers 75, proudly serving their contractors and helping build Wisconsin for over 100 years. We all know the most basic form of life requires clean water to survive. On Earth, we need it to drink, cook, clean, and it touches just about every part of our quality of life. Here in Wisconsin, we appreciate the value of clean water even more as we live alongside the Great Lakes. Yet we often forget to think about how water gets to our homes, schools, and businesses, and then safely back to Mother Nature. Where does all the dirty water go? 
How is it fresh and clean every time we get a glass of water? Who makes this happen? The answer, plumbers. It's the plumbers who are trained, mentored on the job, and have progressed through a five-year education program that takes them from apprenticeship to a master of their trade. It's plumbers who are committed to a career and have been trained to protect the health and safety of our water system and make sure you never have to think about where it comes from and where it's going. Yes, we're fortunate here in Wisconsin to have an abundant supply of clean, fresh water but even more fortunate to have a highly trained and committed workforce to keep and deliver it that way. Plumbers 75, supporting the plumbing trade in Southeast Wisconsin for over 100 years. Serving Southeastern Wisconsin since 1981, Best Price Plumbing is an industry leader in new home construction serving home builders, remodelers, and most importantly, their customers. Our commitment to excellence and our whatever it takes philosophy has made us one of the area's premier plumbing companies. And if you're building or remodeling, let our trained experts guide you through the process at our exclusive plumbing showroom. So give us a call or visit our website. Best Price Plumbing and Plumbers 75. Proud to be building Wisconsin. For more information on Building Wisconsin, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and be sure to watch additional episodes on YouTube or at our website, buildingwisconsintv.com. Welcome back to our project here on Building Wisconsin. I'm Stuart Keith, and so far in today's show, we've been learning more about the new home construction process and specifically the role subcontractors play. Now let's catch up with home builder, Jeff Horak. Oh, Jeff, this is a simply magnificent home. I just love the style of it. It looks like it's nearing completion. We are. We've got several weeks left, but uh, as you can see, it's coming together. Sure, a little bit of tile left to put on the walls here yep, in the kitchen. I yep, love the yep, floor the plan panel. of it. You know, how many square feet is it? It's a very unusual house. It's a little over 4,000 square feet. So is this pretty typical for what you're seeing out there as far as they, size? They range 2,500 to uh, probably five, 6,000 is probably what we do. I know in our house and a lot of homes, the central gathering place is the kitchen. And I just love the way that they have the fireplace, the, the TV for entertaining right here. Because you know, ultimately you have people over, they're going to end up right by this beautiful island. And, right. and you know, you build a lot of very nice homes. You put your name on them, but obviously it's not just you. It's not Jeff going out and, and doing the construction. You've assembled a pretty impressive team. Team. How important is that team? Well, it starts with the customer. <laughs> uh, they're the most important, really. I mean, we're doing all this for them. We see it as our responsibility to get them the best project. So we're going to collaborate with their ideas. But then it's, it's our staff. We also have construction managers on site. We have people to help them make decisions. And then, of course, it extends to our suppliers and our subcontractors. Sure, and on today's show, you know, we're following subcontractors, their role, and specifically the plumbers. And when we're talking new home construction, whether it's a house of this magnitude or smaller or even larger, how important is the plumber's role in new home construction? Well, it's very, very important. Sometimes at the beginning, it doesn't seem so much because pipes are going in the wall and stuff like that. But you know, if there's a leak, it becomes really important, right? Sure, exactly. And if the faucet doesn't shut off properly or if you're not getting enough pressure out of the shower, customers aren't happy. So best price reflects what we want in all of our subcontractors and suppliers, which is something actually quite hard to find sometimes. And that is a contractor who puts the customer first who reflects our desire to give the customer the best we can and to be user friendly, easy to talk to, and really care about the house like it was their own. And you don't always see that in subcontractors. Well, it's good to know that there are some still out there. And you know, if I'm a homeowner and I come to you or any builder, how important is it for me to know who my subs are, specifically the plumber? 
it's important for you to know those subcontractors that you're going to need to follow up with. So we even put their names in our brochure. We give you their names and phone numbers. We have you meet with them. Of course, we're going to have you meet with Best Price Plumbing at their showroom. And they're not just going through the faucets and fixtures that you're going to get. They're going to actually walk through some specifics like, okay, where are the outside faucets going to be? How are we going to handle the mechanicals? Because you don't want a water heater in the middle of your basement floor. So we address that several times through. But lots of times they don't even know the questions to ask. So best price plumbing takes two, three, sometimes four hours with our customers to walk through all that. Well, you know, along the lines of the Best Price showroom earlier in the show, we had a chance to visit it. And I, I had a question. I forgot to ask it out there, but I wanted to ask you. Yeah. You know, when you're building a home, and in your case, you know, everybody has an allowance, no matter what, you know, if it's electrical with the lighting or plumbing with the fixtures. What happens if I see a fixture out there that I really want, but it exceeds my allowance? How do I deal with that? In our case, we're going to let you go over there. Ingrid at Best Price is going to show you the ones that are on your specifications that were in your contract. And if you fall in love with this one, if it's less, you're going to get the difference. If it's more, we let you pay best price directly. Same thing actually is true with our electricians. If you decide you want to add something, you can pay them right then and there. Well, again, we say it time and time again, be an educated consumer, you're going to get the best value, especially building a home. Research not only the builder, but learn about the subs. Right now, I want to catch up with Daryl from Best Price because I want to learn more about some of the ongoing maintenance that a homeowner should be aware of. Thanks for coming on today's okay, show. Okay, thanks, too. It's been my pleasure. Daryl, this is a beautiful lower level and I kind of chuckle because earlier in the show we were with Paul out on site and when we were in the lower level it was all gravel, the piping was just getting in and he stressed the importance of knowing where the runs were going to go and knowing how to properly lay out the plumbing in a basement so you can build a basement of your dreams like this. Yes, that's correct and when we see the plan before the house is even up we know it's a finished basement where we can get the plumbing located up in the ceiling so that you can finish and get the height on your ceiling here. Sure. Now, I wanted to catch up with you quickly just to talk about ongoing maintenance. And if I build a nice new house, the furthest thing from my mind is maintenance. But eventually, there is some maintenance you should be doing on the plumbing side. Right. Here, we have a bar sink over there, and we also have a lower bathroom here. So it's, it's good to use this sink once in a while, one, to keep the water in the trap so it doesn't lose the seal on there, which you would get sewer gas smell and two, to run the shower once in a while so that it keeps the mechanicals working in there. So when you do want to use it, it works properly for you. Same with the toilet and anything else, just run it once in a while every couple weeks. In this case, we have a sump pump down here. Very important to make sure that's working, so it's a good idea to come down and check it when it's raining and make sure it's working. Because when you have a finished basement like this, if that sump pump would go out and you're not down here, you could have a lot of wet carpeting, which you know now you have an insurance claim. So. Okay, and so quickly to recap, you were saying seldom used areas or even floor drains with traps, you want to make sure you keep water in there so you don't get any sewer gas. And then you said actually test the different faucet fixtures in a shower, in a sink, in a bar sink, wherever, because they are mechanical and they're meant to work? Correct. You need to have water running through them once in a while so everything stays lubricated in the inside. In the mechanical room here, we have a water heater, which is very important for the homeowner to know. We have a gas shutoff, which we label, so if something ever happened, they can shut off the gas valve. On the bottom here, what we have is the temperature regulator. So we set them so that it's at a safe temperature. When a homeowner comes in, if they feel that they want the water a little hotter, they can turn up the knob here, get the temperature they want. So after they turn it up, probably in about a half hour, they can check it either with their hands or if they put some kind of a thermometer underneath there, they can see what exact temperature they would like so it would be safe. Now on this particular one, we have a recirculating pump, so with that, you're going to have instant hot water at your faucets. Boy, I like that, a simple recirculating pump, because I know in my situation, some of the furthest faucets take a while, and I'm always, you know, thinking, I must be wasting a lot of water waiting for it to get warm. That simple device can solve that problem. Correct. Okay, now over here, I noticed water softeners. I know these are very important. I use one in my house. It does a world of good, but how does a homeowner know 
whether they need a water softening system. You have to have somebody come and test the water because all places are different on how hard your water is, if you have iron or not. So what they do is they come in here, they test the water, and they size your softener, which is very important because you spent a lot of money on your plumbing fixtures, so you want to protect those fixtures so that the hardness doesn't affect them. You have a brine tank, make sure that you keep salt in that at all times and check it. It's just a matter of lifting the cover off to make sure you have plenty of salt in there. You know, another thing I like is how you, you not only labeled the gas shut off at the water heater, but the water main here. I mean, somebody's going to call you in a state of panic. Something's leaking or you need to shut off the water main. And if it's not labeled, chances are they could come down here if they're not familiar with it and grab the wrong lever. Right. When you have this much going on in the basement, it is really important that they know where the shut off is. If they shut that off, it shuts off the water source through the whole entire house. Okay, what's all this written information? Is this yours? Yes, this is ours. What we do is at the office, this is all put together. So everything from the water heater to all the faucets, every model number of every faucet, toilet, fixture you have in here with the colors and everything is sitting here for the homeowner. So years down the line, they want to know what they put in for replace, fix, or whatever. They can reference to this and all their information is on here. I didn't have this when I built a house and I certainly wish I would because you never know when a question arises and it sure is nice to have that written record. Well, you know, there's a lot for somebody to know in home ownership. If you do your homework as a homeowner, research your builder, research the subs, and just be educated right down to water softening systems, you're going to get your best value and you can enjoy life's greatest investment. Daryl, I really appreciate you coming on and shedding some light on the different things. Thank you, Stuart. The preceding program was sponsored by the Building Wisconsin Television Network.